Okay, this video is going to explain how to determine something like secant of 4 pi over 3 exactly. We're going to do this without the use of any calculator whatsoever, although we will need our knowledge of the special triangle, so that's why it is included down in the bottom in red. So our first step is to rewrite this into one of the primary trig ratios. So we're going to rewrite this as its reciprocal ratio, remembering that secant and cosine are reciprocals of one another, so we can rewrite this. When we rewrite it, we remember that we never take the reciprocal of just theta or of just the angle. We always take the reciprocal of the entire ratio. So the entire thing, cosine of 4 pi over 3, ends up in the denominator. In order to answer this, we need to figure out what cosine of 4 pi over 3 is. And clearly, 4 pi over 3 doesn't appear in our special triangle. So in order to use the special triangle, we need to show in standard position what the graph of 4 pi over 3 would look like. So if we draw ourselves an axis, the way we're going to draw this, we're basically going to divide from 0 to pi into three sections. So I've divided the top half of my graph into three sections, so the entire graph is divided into six sections, and we're going to take 4 pi over 3. So this would be pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3. So all the way around there gives us 4 pi over 3. So I'm just going to erase some of those lines and draw that a little bit nicer. Okay, so here's our graph in the correct quadrant with for 4 pi over 3. Our related acute angle is going to be pi over 3. So the related acute angle is right in here. So it's how far we went sort of past the x-axis. So we often say it this way. So once we've determined the related acute angle, that allows us to go back to our equation and rewrite it using the related acute angle. So we're going to do that. But when we do that, we need to remember that according to the cast rule, we have to make sure that the sign is correct. So the cast rule states that in the third quadrant here, only tan is positive. So cosine of 4 pi over 3 will be the same as cosine of pi over 3, except it will be the negative version. So we're finally at a point where we can use our special triangle to answer this. So our special triangle is going to tell us that cosine of pi over 3 is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, hypotenuse for pi over 3. So pi over, that's going to be 1 over 2. And finally, we have one last step where we flip that around dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So our final answer down here in the corner is negative 2. So the secant of 4 pi over 3 exactly is just negative 2.